My name is Michael Dotson. I grew up in this area. Um, I've passed by this vicinity a hundred times and never knew anything about it other than the empty space, the vacant lots. Uh, my question is, what is the history of Dunning, the insane asylum, and the people who have died here and the people who are buried and unknown? talking about a teeny weeny cemetery. We're talking about a huge amount of people. Most of the people that were buried here are people that were forgotten in life. They were just left or disposed of or hidden. And if that's how they live their lives, how dare we allow them to live their afterlife like that? My name's Al Opitz. I'm president of the Austin Urban Community Council. Our, our group started a committee to try to renovate this property here. At this point, we don't have the money, of course. This property has been in limbo. It's a big mix of who owns what. These markers with the stones, you can't read the writing anymore. Who's gonna fix that? You can't even read what that memorializes. I mean, not entirely because the history is still pretty vague and there's not complete acknowledgement by the city, by the state of what has occurred here, who is here, what the potential numbers are. For all the people around here that have no clue that this is even here, some source that if they're intrigued enough, they could come and, and acknowledge that this, on this plot of land, it was here, and you live right down the street from it.